Many of you know that civil engineers design roads, water systems, pipelines, bridges, and buildings. What you may not know is there is more to these structures than meets the eye. Before a structure like the Empire State Building could be constructed, the earth below had to be prepared to support the loads imposed on it by this 102-story steel frame building. To do this, a specific type of civil engineer, called a geotechnical engineer, investigates the soil by first drilling into the earth and pulling out soil samples. The samples are then taken to a geotechnical lab and tested to obtain the soil's physical properties and analyze its behavior under specified conditions. For example, by shaking the soil through these sieves, we determine the quantity and size of the particles present. By testing the soil in this loading frame, we determine the ultimate load the soil can take before it fails. Based on lab results, geotechnical engineers design ways to make the soil stronger. One way to do this is to hammer steel piles into the ground. Another way is to drill out a soil column and fill the column with concrete. Unfortunately, steel and concrete are natural resources and the manufacturing of Portland cement produces roughly 5% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. For this reason, geotechnical engineers are moving to interdisciplinary research to solve geotechnical problems in a more sustainable way. An example of what we are researching is precipitation of calcium carbonate minerals. In this video, precipitation occurs instantaneously after combining baking soda, which provides the carbonate, and calcium chloride, which provides the calcium. This simple chemical process is difficult to use in soil because the precipitation occurs too quickly, preventing us from getting calcium carbonate within the soil matrix. Looking to nature, we found that this process is slowed down by using the urease enzyme from microbes or plants. In a solution with urea and calcium chloride, the enzyme slowly breaks apart the urea providing the carbonate ions at a controlled rate, which then reduces the rate that calcium carbonate is precipitated. This allows us to inject the solution into the soil before all the precipitation has occurred, and within hours, the calcium carbonate turns loose sand into sandstone. On a microscopic level, we can see that the rapid, unmediated process with baking soda precipitates small crystals like those shown here. But by using the slower, biomediated process with the enzyme, larger calcium carbonate crystals are precipitated at the point where the soil particles touch, cementing the soil together to provide increased strength with minimal additional material. Sustainability is a quest for improved social, economic, and environmental outcomes. By moving to more cost-efficient and natural foundations, geotechnical engineers can be proud to say we are doing our part to aid in meeting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for Infrastructure, cities, and responsible consumption. Please join us in our challenge to do even more.